Celebrating Valentine's Day doesn't always mean a candlelit dinner with your significant other. That's because if you have a family, two at the dinner table can easily become three, four, and even more. <laughs> Still, there are ways to celebrate with a special meal that's sure to please everyone around the table on Valentine's Day. And Stacy Sarlene with the South Dakota Pork Producers Council is here to tempt our taste buds with a great pork recipe. Welcome, Stacy. Thank, Thank you. you. So let's talk about pork. Why is this such a great option for our Valentine's Day dinner? You know, pork is very lean and nutritious, and so it can be a healthy protein you can put on your plate um, to kind of tantalize your guest or your family for a Valentine's. Well, this smells terrific. Now, how many different cuts of pork are there? Yeah, There's the leanest. Lot. Let's talk about the, the leanest. The leanest. We have uh, eight lean cuts of pork. Okay. Uh, pork tenderloin being our leanest cut of pork. Um, loin chops. Uh, we've got roast. Anything with loin equals lean is what I like to tell people. So as you're like shopping um, in the grocery store and you're looking at different cuts, loin equals lean. So you know that's a healthy cut. I like that. What happens with the flavor when you go from a loin cut, that type of cut, to a different type of cut? Does it change? No. No. It just all depends on what kind of cut you're looking at. I mean, obviously, bacon brings the bacon flavor, and it's probably not on yeah. a lean cut. <laughs> Love it. Uh, that's so good. All right, so you're going to teach us how to make a really delicious-looking recipe. Yes. So just first, tell us what we're making. This is grilled Asian pork tenderloin. Um, and so what I wanted to do is kind of showcase a really uh, lean cut of pork with our pork tenderloin, and then also say, you know, you don't have to go outside and grill. You can also make this recipe inside. And that's how I demonstrated it for you today, was I cooked it for 30 minutes till it was 145 in the middle because it's a lean or it's a whole cut of pork. And so by not overcooking it, you're getting that moist, juicy flavor um, from the meat. And as you can see, there's a little bit of pink. Um, and when I was cutting it, you could see that there was a lot of juice. So that's the way you want it because it's going to be moist. It's flavorful. That's the um, best. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then, of course, you know, a healthy cut of uh, green peas here to yep. add to the, the <laughs> lean uh, meal that option that we've got going. And then your side of fruit. This is a truly healthy option for Valentine's Day for any dinner, really. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Now, what kind of ingredients were in this Yeah, uh, just recipe? run through the list. Okay, so as you um, see, we've got our pork tenderloin, pineapple juice, you've got soy sauce, um, you've got minced garlic, fresh ginger root, um, a coarse salt, ground cumin, chili powder, black pepper, and then basically then... For the pineapple, you could add a little brown sugar on it if you wanted to, if you put it on the grill. Otherwise, we're, today we're just serving our pineapple fresh. Okay, well, okay. let's walk step by step now through this and just tell us what you did to create this. You know, you mix the marinade, and how I did it was I mixed the marinade last night, and you can refrigerate for like an hour or plus. So I mixed the marinade last night and let it sit in the fridge overnight. Um, with the pineapple juices, it's going to break down that meat a little bit, make it a little bit more tender because it's a citrusy um, juice. And so then basically what I did was I, instead of placing the pork on the grill, I put it in the oven on some tin foil, cooked it for 30 minutes, Minutes, and then pulled it out and voila. Are you seeing this Asian type flavored meals more popular? Because I remember when we talked at the beginning of the year, the Asian flavor is both supposedly the most popular for 2019. You know, I guess, you know, this is an old standby. I've been cooking it for quite a few years. It's very healthy. Um, it's very flavorful. So it's always kind of a go-to for me, even when I'm doing demonstrations elsewhere. Um, I'll go to nutrition um, segments and stuff like that. And it's always one that's easy to be able to showcase. That's really good. And you can always have these for a very healthy dinner, correct? Like constant. Absolutely. Good. You know, and the thing is, is that, like I made two um, pork tenderloins for you guys today. I mean, you can take it home mm. and refrigerate it, and it will warm up very easily because pork tenderloin is a moist, juicy cut. And so it'll be great, you know, the next day after. And how do you round out the meal? What, what else would you add to the, the green beans and the pork? You know, since it's Valentine's Day, I did pick up a bottle of wine, a South Dakota wine from Prairie Berry. <laughs> and then also I just added in some chocolate. You know, it, nothing to end the meal with, a little bit of chocolate and a glass of wine. Never hurts. Right. And how about the pineapple? What does this do for a side? You know, you can just eat it along with your meal. It's a, you know, just a fruit to add in to balance out your plate. A little bit of color to add to the green beans and the pork. So it just kind of makes it a little more festive. So what are some other ways that you can incorporate pork into your meals throughout the day? You know, you can easily do for breakfast, you know, Canadian bacon is a lean protein. Um, and it's also been um, talked about how it gets um, kids 
feeling fuller throughout the day. So like if you feed your kid um, a breakfast, a healthy breakfast before they head off to school, it'll keep them focused th throughout the day till lunchtime. Um, you know, in lunch, there's lots of, I mean, deli meat is always a great option to take to lunch. Make your sandwich, you've got ham, you've got lots of options there. And then, you know, you've got supper, you know, you can balance it out with pork loin, pork chops, you know, pork tenderloin is always a favorite. How can I add more flavor to my pork? If I'm not going to like, if I'm not going to make a elaborate recipe like this, but I just want to add some more flavor, how can I do that? You know, there's lots of great seasonings out there. Um, you can get cookie seasoning. We sell a seasoning mm. out of our office that is delicious. It's a combination that we mix in our office um, from Lynch Barbecue. You can order it online, um, or you can order it from our office. And so, I mean, there's lots of great different seasonings in that seasoning area of your grocery store. Now this looks great and I'd love to get more recipes just like this. Where would you go to find some? You know, you can go to our website, um, SouthDakotaPork.org. Otherwise, our Facebook page. Our Facebook page posts recipes nonstop, a couple times a day, um, you know, so several throughout the week. So that can get you geared up for any of the holidays that you're coming up or the weekends or, you know, even weeknight suggestions for supper. Okay. Let's talk a little bit more about the nutritional value now for pork and talking about how much protein you're getting and the um, calories with ounces. You know, with a three ounce portion of pork, I mean, you're getting low calories compared to like your skinless chicken breast, um, your three ounces of beef. Um, so, I mean, we try and kind of compare up there um, with them to stay in that running of a healthy protein because a lot of people feel like um, if they're on a diet or looking for low calorie, they've got to go to a chicken or fish or a low cut beef. Well, pork runs right in there as well. What is a unique way that you've used pork in your meal? Maybe something that we wouldn't think of. I have one on top of my head, so I just want to see what you have. You know, ground pork always goes unlooked. And so I use ground pork in a lot yeah. of things, like with chili, lasagna, spaghetti, um, a lot of things like that. And ground pork is a lean protein. So, but with that, I mean, you can supplement that anywhere you might use ground beef. I'm thinking, too, if you added some taco seasoning to that, couldn't you use that as your taco meat? Yes. I've oh, done that pork before. Pork tacos, too. they're amazing. Pork tacos, yes. yeah. <laughs> well, I just made a pulled pork taco um, thing for a school event. So yeah. that was kind of fun, too. So, oh, my gosh. Yeah. So yeah. I have to share my idea now. So, yes. okay. so we have the pineapple, and I'm like, <clears throat> and then we were talking about pizzas the other day. So I'm like, you could cut up the pork, put it on your pizza with pineapple. Absolutely. Absolutely. And pork tenderloin, cutting that up, making homemade pizza. I mean, you can put any kind of topping on that you would like. I mean, and pork toppings in pizza, you know, yeah. are pretty much what you got. All right, well, thank you so thank much, Thank you Stacey. so much. Britt's going to make that pizza. I'm now. about ready yeah. to dig in right now for this <laughs> yeah. pineapple. I love it so much. <laughs> ready to go shopping for pork to perk up your Valentine's Day menu? You'll find this great recipe on the Kelloland Living page at kelloland.com. You can also visit www.sdppc.org slash recipes to find many more. And the South Dakota Pork Producers Council has a special offer for our Kelloland Living viewers today. Simply like the South Dakota Pork Producers Council Facebook page and use the hashtag Kelloland Living to enter for your chance to win a $20 pork gift certificate.